Drew's Roofing and Home Repair. And I'm down here in Ocean House Beach, or actually this is uh, Calabash. Single wide mobile home. The man wanted me to come here and measure for windows. This would be a new construction window with the nail flange. And as you can see, these are old mobile home windows that have the old nail flange on it. And somebody came in here and added siding. Well, that does cause somewhat of an issue for me to put new windows in this place. And I'll tell you why. My window is a new construction window with a nail flange. And I'm going to have the same nail flange as he is, but they added siding to this thing. And all they did with their siding is, for the most part, they just went over the top of their nail flange. Took a piece of aluminum and bent it all around the window for a J. Um, that's not a proper J. And they also did the same thing down here at the bottom. And I imagine um, that there's a nail flange here. I mean, it's what got the screws in it. You just can't see the screws because they came over it when they added their siding. Which now means that I would have to take off the siding in order to um, put a new construction window in here. Well, one of the first things I noticed, besides the fact that they really jury-rigged around these windows with this J-channel thing that they put in and all that kind of good stuff, I started looking at the laps just to see what kind of siding this was because I have, and don't generally see, Eight inch siding. All right, so I'm not sure where they got this stuff. Don't know what color it is. Don't know where I would get it. But I can't damage the siding um, when, I'm, when I do the windows. And if I cracked a piece or broke a piece in any way, how do you replace it? Okay, so then I started looking at the laps. Just wanted to know, is this um, metal? Or is it plastic? Sounds like metal. I looked at the lap. Can you see that? It's got about a quarter of an inch lap. And behind it is all insulation board. Looks like they took off the old siding. I'm looking at insulation. See that? That's insulation and a piece of styrofoam. So I don't know if they took the the old metal off of this house, but every single place that I peel that out, gosh, I hope you can see that on camera. I, I don't see any regular like siding on the house. I see insulation and a piece of styrofoam. You see it? But look how small they get. the lap is. The lap is only a quarter of an inch. I know. I mean, huh? I did, I've never seen a siding at a quarter of an inch. The wind blowing this way, going into that lap, which easily will do everywhere. And as you can see, there's a gap in them all. Um, but wind blowing this way, it's got to go. It's got to go in the house. So, <clears throat> and then they put a foundation down here and butt their siding to it and caulked it. Um, same thing here. They just There's no real J-channel here, so they just ran their siding up uh, somewhat tight to the window itself and caulked the crap out of it. Whew. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I could do, I could do the windows, um, but if I broke a piece of siding, <coughs> that would be... Um, a real big issue here. That would be a real big issue. I'd probably have to start stealing it from his storage building over here that they did. They did the same thing here. Can you imagine changing the screen? You have to take all the siding off. Just to change the door. And he gave me a, a key. So I'm going to go inside and just take a look. But yeah, this is a storm door. 
and uh, they covered over the flange and then just co cocked it. So this door, in order to change the door, you literally have to remove all the siding and that's, that makes no sense at all. Yeah, see what they did? This is an old, old mobile home window with the nail flange on it. And they didn't even put anything around this one. They just uh, used caulking. That's, that is totally unacceptable. So if you have a window issue and you're going to put siding on your house, do not do it this way. Do not do it that way. Corners. Yeah, they used caulking, which you're not supposed to have to caulk any corners. They have a Honduras roofing on there, which I am not a fan of Honduras roofing, a Honduras, Hondorian. Got a lot of issues back here. They did all the windows the same, the house. The... I wish I could, uh, I think, that's metal. That's metal siding to me. I don't think it's plastic. Has anybody seen eight inch siding? Look at there, I'm just, Every time I open one of the things, I see insulation board. I can't tell if it's metal or plastic. It's so heavy. But I've still never seen 8-inch lap siding. This is like a light Carolina blue or maybe a light shark type gray. I don't know. I was hoping. This is what I was hoping to do. See, this is the windows. I'm going to show you the neighbor's house. This is what the windows looked like in his house. All right, nail flange. This is basically what a new construction window would look like, except for nowadays, this is just a screen. The new construction window would have a um, brick molding on the outside if you wanted to, or it would just have the nail flange, but the window would come out a little bit from that, like the atrium windows or even the Pella windows. Yeah, but, but they had the same type of windows next door with that nail flange on it. And normally I would go inside and just measure up and down for that window to get the right size and order it. And it would come and it would look just like that, except brand new and plastic. Um, and the window does come out about Three quarters of an inch. It kind of sticks out about three quarters on my atrium windows. Now, these windows, this is the screen on the outside. The window, I guess, is the inside. Yeah, I guess there's a window on the inside, somewhat of a window. See, they got a little bit different nail flange on it, but this would be same thing as new construction window. It would have a nail flange on it just like this. So if you wanted to put it on a mobile home, you can put them in that type of mobile home without the siding on it. But when they have siding, absolutely no laps. Let's see if I can turn this camera. Oh Lord, quarter inch lap. Quarter of an inch. And I'm looking at insulation back there, so, and then a run of insulation board. I, I don't even know if the original trailer is back there. But I wouldn't do this. Just so you know, I would not do this. I'm not sure what that is. I think something, uh, what is that? It's just a siding, okay. So they just ran it to the window and cocked the crap out of it. It's not. That's not what I, I would not do my windows like that. Whoever did this. Now somebody came back and, and put a different type of window. This is not a new construction with a nail flange. This is a new construction with brick molding. And this one here, you would have to also remove the siding. So somebody did remove some siding. I'm not sure how much they had to do, but boy, that stuff looks like it's metal. real heavy 
anyways, this is one that they did. Uh, they have the same metal type of flange around it. Not sure if they just left that, but looks like they added. Of course, you can see where the caulking's a big trouble. Water's gonna go in there. And they cut their piece of siding right to the bottom of this without a J channel whatsoever. All right, I'm gonna have to go inside here and take a look. These are some windows, rollout windows. Of course, they never work. And again, they just use caulking basically to keep the water out. I don't like this right here. I think I would've. Every time water goes down there, I think I would've did maybe a different type of underpinning or not have it come out like this. That's a hole. Not to mention it's kind of breaking. Anyways, this really wasn't about foundation. <laughs> Although, look at this thing. Holy smoke. Yeah, so water's just pouring down behind there. Of course, I don't know what it's hurting, but... Yeah, that's the, that's the problem with this. See, what this needs is something to come down here and over the brick, like a flashing, and not see the top of the brick. Um, so when they put the siding on before they put the siding on, come down with the L, come over this way and then come back down, make that into like a Z flashing. That's what I would have done and cover this and cover that gap that's back there and then start the siding from there. But anyways, that's not me. These are have quarter inch slaps. Look at that. Man. All right, I'm gonna ask this guy where he gets the siding from, but in the meantime, I'm gonna see if I can take a look on the inside.